In this tutorial, I'm going to create some crown molding using a CV curve tool and the extrude tool and also the lofting tool. So we're going to start with the profile of this molding using the CV curve tool. I'm going to begin in an orthographic view and I'm going to use the CV curve tool. And you can use any of these really, it depends on what your needs are. I'm going to use the CV Curve tool. I've set it for one. I could have set it for two if I was looking for something that had softer contours to it, but the workflow is generally the same. Once I have the profile created, I'm going to hit Return, then I'm going to go to Curves, and I'm going to close that shape out. Otherwise, we won't be able to use the uh, bevel plus tool which we'll use in this instance. And if I wanted to now I could go in and I could do some editing on this now or I could wait until the shape was actually created and then edit as well. Once I've got the edit roughly the way I want I'll return to the object mode for the path, deselect and select it again. Now I'm going to go to my perspective view so this kind of makes a little bit more visual sense as we create this. I'm going to hold down the space bar, surfaces, I'm going to go to the bevel plus and I'm going to the attributes. Now I don't want any kind of bevel on the outside edges of this so I've beveled the width zero and the bevel depth zero as well and I'm going to use the extrude distance of 10. Now this can be scaled after we've created but this will give us some length to this. So now all I need to do is simply hit apply and if we were to zoom in on that you can see how quickly we were able to make that piece of molding. If I move up the newly made geometry away from the path, I can go now here and I can go to my control vertices and if need be, I can continue to edit that. And that's how to make it using the bevel plus. In this uh, instance, I'm going to create a molding with 45 degree angles on either side. So in order to do that, we're going to use the lofting tool and two of our paths. So I'll start with the first one I made. I'm going to rotate that 45 degrees on the z-axis. And then I'm going to duplicate it by hitting Command D. I'll move it out from the original. And I'm going to rotate that one minus 45 on the z-axis. And now, depending on the length I would want, I would separate these out as far as I need it. I can also change the length of that once I've extruded it as well. Uh, so actually, rather than extrude, we're going to use the lofting tool. But as in the past with any sort of a Bezier curve, we'd be going to the surface menu to make it into geometry. So I'll shift select these two. And then I'll hold down my space bar. I'll go to surfaces and I'm going to go to loft and I'll go to the menu for this. I'm going to use polygons for this. So I'll go to the lofting options and I'll choose quads and count and I'll leave the default 200. And it really depends on what the quality you might be looking for. Uh, so I'll leave the default and I'll hit apply and you'll see it's created that shape and now I've got 45 degree angle. So what that means is that if I wanted to I could take this piece of geometry, I could duplicate it and you can see you just kind of rotate that and you could put that into position. Now the thing that makes this uh, very helpful is that if I needed that to be longer, as long as the history hasn't been deleted, I can go into these paths now, and if I move it, it'll update the length I need. And that's pretty much all you need to know about creating a molding for a door frame, perhaps, or a window. 